We have a fade the public situation on Saturday night in college football. I'm going to give you the team to fade and a money-making opportunity for you on national TV in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down your 7.30 Eastern Saturday night matchup, Illinois at Penn State, and this is on national TV on NBC Saturday night, and there is a fade the public situation, and ding, ding, red flag alert, it's a public dog. That's what we always look to fade in college football. In fact, I don't do a lot of consensus work in college football. You know my NFL Fade the Public Weekly video does extremely well, including this year, one all three weeks so far. Be sure to click that bell when you subscribe for an instant alert when week four NFL Fade the Public is available this weekend. But in college football, these high-profile top 25 matchups, when I start to see a lot of public sentiment on an underdog, or either really one team or the other, it does catch my attention. In fact, last week, Probably the most public college football play I'd seen in decades was USC, and they lost outright as a favorite at Michigan. And now we have a fairly heavy public dog in Illinois. And as is often the case when fading public teams, especially dogs, we get adjusted line value and we get the better team on top of that. And that's the case here with Penn State. In fact, my 10,000 game database simulation favors Penn State to win by over 24 points on average. As we check the Wager Talk Live odd screen, we'll see that Penn State is currently only about an 18 point home favorite. So we're getting nearly a touchdown in line value here with the Nittany Lions. And I have no problem backing Penn State. In fact, my clients cashed easily with them last week as a best bet in that 56 0 blowout of Kent State. And they remain home now for the fourth straight game, fourth straight week. Whereas Illinois has to travel back-to-back high-profile national TV games. They did get the upset win in Nebraska last Friday night, but this is a much tougher scheduling spot here in Death Valley against Penn State. And keep in mind, Penn State's not going to overlook this game for a few reasons. First of all, national TV, home game Saturday night. But a couple years ago, Illinois came in here in late October as a 24-point dog and won outright in overtime 20-18. Yes, Penn State got the revenge last year with a 17-point road win Um, as a 14-point favorite, but I think they will have that as bulletin board material once again this season. And keep in mind, before that upset went a couple years ago, Penn State had dominated this series, winning 39-0, 63-24, and 56-21. Penn State and company loves to run it up against weaker teams, and we get some line value as well. Take a look at the Nittany Lions and fade this public dog, Illinois, on Saturday night. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? What other college football best bets do you like this Saturday in week five? I read the comments and I reply back. Thumbs up, like this video. And once again, when you subscribe, click the bell for instant alerts so you know when my top 25 college videos posted every week, this game will be included with numerous other games. And also my NFL Fade the Public video is ready this weekend as well. Click that bell for instant alerts here on Wager Talk TV. Don't forget, if you'd like to get my personal best bets, you can do so each and every day, each and every week on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. 10-4 and four college and pro football the last two weeks combined, and it's no surprise. I entered this season number one in units, won the last two years combined, ATS profit in both college and pro football, and we're red hot this season as well. Don't sleep on baseball. The playoffs are about to begin. I'm on a current 31-11 and 11 baseball hot streak the past month and a half. And oh yeah, basketball starts in a few weeks. I'm number one the last three years combined in profit in the NBA and number one in college hoops a couple years ago as well. I know what you're thinking. Baseball, football, basketball. I can't decide. Maybe I should do it all sports. Yes, you should do an all sports package. And this is the week to do it because right now, if you want to get a three-month package, we're including the fourth month for free. No promo code needed. That's buy 90 days, get 120 days for the same price. Works out to about $7 a day, about $3 a play. Or the best deal, I'll bring it back another week because so many of you have taken advantage, yet so many of you have also slept and watched it pass you by. 10-4 and four the last two weeks in football, 31-11 and 11 current baseball run. Once again, I gave this offer to you a few weeks ago, a one-year all-access with an instant $800 discount with promo code SM365. That gets baseball, football, basketball, every play, every day, down to less than $3 a day, a dollar a play, or just over $3 a day, about a dollar a play. But you got to have promo code SM365 for that instant $800 discount on the one-year all-access. Whether you want the 90-day with the 30 days thrown in for free, that's a $299 value, by the way. So once again, that's a four-month package for the price of three or the one-year special with promo code SM365. Don't miss another winning weekend. 10-4 and four the last two weeks in college and pro football. Current 31-11 and 11 baseball run, and basketball's about to start. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut WT.buzz slash SM. 
Don't forget, you don't have to memorize these special offers and promo codes. They're on my homepage right now. You'll see the daily best bets, the daily free play. That's right. I post a bonus free play every day on my page. And then right below that are the promo codes and weekly specials. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. You can also follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here on Wager Talk TV for some more free betting content coming up next.